。元轩，你们的镜头要打开，他们现在看不到你们的镜头，嗯、就是看不到你们。Thank you for joining us again. Uh, mm -hmm. just, uh, just a short um, announcement. Uh, the recordings of this Bardo teaching in Tibetan and Hebrew are available in Dharma Friends of Israel YouTube channel, DFI Israel. The recordings of the Bardo teaching in Tibetan and English would also, also be available in the YouTube channel in a few days. The recording of the Bardo teaching in Tibetan and Russian will be available through the Four Noble Truth Center, Moscow. And the recordings of the Bado teaching in Tibetan and Chinese will be available through Kyoto Dharma Center, Taipei. So now uh, let us continue with the teaching. Rinpoche, please. So, yeah. Um, that, uh, doglum, and, uh, 
ตาขันเดขันเดเอ่อตันเดบีเอตะดูขันเดจีเอตาตุจุจีชิงากิทอเลยาแผนตอจีงุเรเทเนนังบะยินดามายิงเกจะคะเกยอมาเรอรานีน
a little bit about uh, what happens at the time of death if we uh, if we know that you know uh, in the intermediate state you know uh, one can uh, engage in virtue or one uh, or you know one can have uh, one's uh, companions or friends you know, who are alive to engage in virtue and then uh, dedicate it for us you know so if, if we know this and actually act on it then there is there will be benefit uh, for us isn't it so it is also good to, to know right i mean it's it's, it's nice to know that uh, well, even if we are if uh, we have uh, if we are born into a, a intermediate state of a bad migration kind of it's, it's heartening right it's good to know that uh, it can be changed. The intermediate state can be changed to a uh, of a bad migration to a intermediate state of a, a happy migration, isn't it? And then on top of that, you know, uh, uh, you know, in in uh, in the context of uh, very high levels of uh, tantric uh, practice, you know, there are, there are many. Uh, there are these practices that can be done in relation to uh, and at the time of death and, and during the intermediate state and so forth. Uh, of which, uh, you know, the points I've just mentioned, uh, uh, there are some things that cannot be discussed uh, publicly and neither do, uh, do I know uh, each and every uh, detail, uh, but I think I, I thought to uh, kind of share uh, uh, some of these uh, points uh, with uh, all of you. הסוגים השונים של הברדו, שיש את סוגי הברדו שהזכרנו עכשיו, הם שמות מסוימים שניתנו לחלקים מסוימים, שאפילו יכולים להיות רלוונטיים לחיים האלה, שבהם אנחנו כולם נוכל להשתמש בהם בתרגול הרוחני שלנו. אז למרות שכרגע אנחנו לא בברדו, עדיין אפשר להשתמש בששת סוגי הברדו האלה שהזכרנו קודם כדי לתרגל מנטרה. אז רימבוט שייגע בחלק מהנקודות ש... קשורות במצבים האלה, וקודם כל מאחר ואנחנו עוסקים כאן בנושא טנטרי, בנושא מנטרי, אז רואים פה שלא יכול לדבר על כל הדברים, אין לו הרשאה לדבר על כל הדברים, ומעבר לזה אומר שגם ההבנה שלו לגבי כל התרגולים האלה מצומצמת, הוא לא יודע את הכל, אבל הוא עדיין יחלוק איתנו כמה נקודות. Tandang aran tsugi, onge sheba, raba, lugu wagi, sheba tiki ti tsangma lo ngon di kyo jay, yue di ba tiki ti sa chul le tim, chul me le tim, me lung le tim, lung nam she le tim, po tu jin le tim rin gi to ne, en sheba raba tiki ti ma du sma du du gu yorwa, o kundo jeju bu ganga du du gu yorwa, ta te ne, ji sangha gi, shun ne ma she hindu, te ne, Kundo jajubu kangal pa du chani tando du du tando niya yorba nawe rangshin ki togwa sosun chebe rangshin ki togwa shibju nyeto rangshin ki togwa dun o tuzo khanle jume kundo jajub tim sarete jungshi and nanje tosun de ade yeba yinza and nawa kalamba cheba malamba nyeto nalamba singindi o tos chani kundo jajub tim sarete jela and now Columbus, and now Malambas, or now Malambas, now Columbus, now Columbus, now Padu, Nyato Nalam Kal, Cheba Malamba, now Patit, so do Nyato Nalam Patine, and Tamjetongo was selling it, that she to travel, I said, Sam Shinta, or the new mason, or Tindavati, one to Cuba Cabla, Nyato Nalambaya, so do jet, or that Tamjetongo was selling it, new mason tea, that the Lewang bom jam ni cuma mana lewang itu cuma mana, or lewang itu tiap kali ya, kan? Tanda di di sini orang orang kerja, or cewa wesel sini biru bata, cewa wesel tu kalau lewang itu orang orang, kalau bom jam maju ke jam orang orang, cewa wesel sini. Tapi rawal lugu, siapa tu kita cuma lama dua ni, nyumeh sengjil, 
So, when we are alive, uh, our five uh, uh, sense uh, consciousnesses, which are coarse uh, levels of consciousnesses, uh, manifest, isn't it? But then at the time of death, uh, uh, these uh, coarser uh, levels of consciousness uh, uh, progressively uh, dissolve, uh, leading to the manifestation of uh, more subtle, uh, more, uh, more subtle levels of uh, consciousness. So in the death dissolution process, and of course we are talking about this from the uh, perspective of a secret mantra or tantra. The earth element dissolves in the wind, uh, in the earth in the water. The water element dissolves in the fire. Uh, fire into wind, and then wind. Uh, into uh, consciousness, into consciousness. So the five sense consciousnesses uh, progressively uh, uh, dissolve. No? Then uh, the the there is a there's, there are set there's, a, there's this set of uh, conceptions. They are called the eighty uh, indicative uh, conceptions. Uh, they too uh, uh, dissolve, uh, but. It doesn't mean that uh, all consciousnesses at that time have uh, dissolved. There are certain uh, levels of uh, consciousnesses. So out of the 80 uh, indicative uh, conceptions, you know, right after the, the dissolution of these 80 indicative conceptions, there is a mind that is called a luminous appearance or what we call the white appearance. Uh, uh, and then uh, when that dissolves, then the, uh, 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 there's the mind of uh, rate uh, increase. And then when the mind of rate increase uh, dissolves, then the mind of black near attainment uh, will uh, manifest. And when this black mind of black near attainment uh, dissolves, uh, uh, then the extremely subtle mind uh, will manifest. So this extremely subtle mind is also called the all empty, uh, all empty, uh, and it is the clear light of death. So the manifesting, the manifestation of this uh, extremely subtle mind, the fundamental mind of clear light, the clear light of death, uh, it, uh, does not happen due to the power of meditation here. Uh, this is, uh, happens to all of us uh, due to uh, karma, isn't it? So in order for this extremely subtle mind, this clear light of death to manifest, the coarser levels of consciousnesses must first uh, dissolve. 
and then uh, and then from it is from with it is from within this uh, extremely subtle mind of the clear land of death that uh, that one enters uh, into uh, the intermediate state is from this uh, from within this extremely subtle mind of clear land of death that uh, one becomes an intermediate state uh, being so the intermediate state being uh, as i mentioned earlier on is not an extremely coarse uh, state of existence yeah so the intermediate state being's uh, existence is uh, subtle uh, it's kind of like an energy body isn't it it's subtle and uh, but nevertheless uh, it possesses the complete set of uh, faculties and in the intermediate state, uh, when that intermediate state being has found its place of uh, rebirth, and 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 to take rebirth, that intermediate state being must die in the intermediate state, and during that death process in the intermediate state, the uh, uh, its mind must dissolve uh, into. Uh, the clear light, the extremely subtle mind of clear light, and it is from this, is from within this extremely subtle mind of clear light that the birth existence, the birth state, is accomplished, is is brought into being, and so one takes rebirth, and so if you are born as a human being, for example, you 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 are conceived in the mother's womb, and then the consciousness then becomes uh, again increasingly uh, coarser. Yeah, progressively, yeah, over time, right? Uh, so you see, uh, as a human being, for example, in, in when we die, all our causal level of consciousness dissolves into the extremely subtle mind, and then we arise into, uh, then we enter into the intermediate state, which is a state of existence that is not coarse, but it is uh, coarser when compared to the extremely subtle mind of clear light. And then, in order to take rebirth, uh, you know, while in the intermediate state, one has to die, so to speak, again. Right? And when one dies, the mind, or the causal level of, uh, of mind, must dissolve into the clear light. And then, it's from within the clear light uh, that we then uh, go into the next uh, life. All of this uh, happens uh, uh, due to karma, and it is said that. Uh, uh, in in higher sugar tantra, there are techniques uh, for that enable that practitioner to make use of this uh, whole process of death and uh, intermediate state, you know, and uh, techniques to transform uh, these states of existences into virtue, to transform uh, those experiences into uh, the path. ככה שבעצם, סליחה, ככה שבעצם כשאנחנו מסתכלים על המצב הברדו, אז התהליך הזה של, התהליך של התודעה שהופכת להיות יותר, יותר גסה, מתרחש בתהליך הברדו. עכשיו אמרנו שבתהליך הברדו גם יש מוות בסוף שבוע של הברדו, אז שוב, מוות בסוף שבוע של הברדו התודעה עצמה שוב תגיע למצב של תודעה הכי מעודנת שהתודעה הבסיסית ביותר הופכת להיות גלויה שוב, שוב הדבר הזה קורה לא מכוח, מכוח, בכוח המדיטציה אלא באמצעות כוחה של אמ, הקרמה והדבר הזה בסופו של דבר מוביל אותנו לקיום הלידה אז כשאנחנו עוברים מקיום הברדו לקיום הלידה אז אמ, בסוף חיינו כבר, במצב הברדו, אז שוב, תודעת החזות החשוכה, זאת אומרת, זאת שבאה לפני הסוף, The Near Attainment, היא נאספת פנימה, היא נאספת פנימה או מתפוגגת, התודעה הבסיסית ביותר הופכת להיות תלויה, ואז כשאנחנו מגיעים לקיום הלידה, מהשלב הזה ואילך, אז שוב, הסדר ההפוך של התודעות האלה קודם כל ההוראה של החזות החשוכה, אחרי זה החזות, החזות האודם, אחרי זה החזות הלבנה וכולי, הן עולות ומתפתחות, הופכות להיות יותר ויותר גסות בקיום הלידה. אז מה היתרון בלהבין את התהליך הזה? היתרון בלהבין את התהליך הזה זה 
אם נדע מה קורה בתהליך הזה, אנחנו נוכל להשתמש בו כדי להטמיר את התודעה בתהליך הזה לתודעה שהיא בטבע הדרך. או שלפחות נוכל להשתמש בה כדי שבתהליך הזה גם נוכל אה, לוודא שאנחנו מפתחים תודעה שהיא תודעה חיובית, תודעה של חסד בתהליך הזה. ตั้งชื่อภาษาคิดสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิสิ
uh, so far with regards to uh, the deaf uh, existence, the intermediate, uh, uh, the deaf state, the individual state, and the birth state, uh, from the perspective of them being the results of uh, karma and afflictions. His Holiness uh, in uh, in recent times uh, has always been uh, citing this verse from the Lalita Vistara Sutra. And the verse goes like this, profound and peaceful, free from elaboration, uncompounded uh, luminosity. I found a nectar-like dharma, yet if I were to teach it, no one would understand, so I shall remain silent here uh, in this uh, forest. So, and His Holiness uh, interprets uh, uh, this verse uh, in, in the following way. So he uh, reads a profound and peaceful uh, to uh, mean the uh, selflessness of the person uh, that was uh, taught uh, during the first turning of the wheel of Dharma. So that teaching on the selflessness of person is, uh, was essentially uh, uh, an antidote uh, to the afflictive uh, obscurations. Then, uh, as for free from elaboration, His Holiness uh, uh, connects uh, this uh, to the subject matter of the second turning of the wheel of Dharma. In the second turning of the wheel of Dharma, the Buddha uh, taught uh, the perfection of wisdom uh, sutras, uh, during which uh, the Buddha did not uh, speak on just the selflessness of person, but he also uh, elaborated on uh, or talked about the selflessness of, uh, or he, he did not just uh, uh, talk about the self of a person, but he also talked uh, about the, the self of a phenomena, uh, the conception of which uh, constitutes a uh, because uh, 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 this is related uh, to uh, the uh, knowledge of obscurations, isn't it? So the second turning of the wheel of Dharma is essentially an elaboration on uh, true cessation. And as for uncompounded luminosity, uh, uh, His Holiness uh, uh, said that, you know, uh, although uh, uh, from the, the, uh, as an object, from the so if you look at the view from uh, from the side of the object, which is emptiness, uh, there's nothing uh, more profound than that uh, thought during the second turning of the wheel of Dharma. But with regards to the subjective view, the mind that takes uh, uh, emptiness as its object, that mind can uh, 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 can be uh, uh, extremely uh, subtle. It's not just uh, cause and level of mind. So generally, uh, in the Sutra of the Tathagata essence uh, and in the Maitreya's Uttara Tantra, uh, you'll find uh, uh, an explanation or the presentation of uh, uh, the clear light mind, isn't it? Right? So, and, and in particular, uh, in uh, the, the Tantric uh, tradition, uh, uh, the, the techniques to uh, uh, manifest the extremely subtle mind and then conjoin that mind to connect uh, that mind with the object uh, uh, emptiness. So, as for, as for the word uncompounded in uncompounded luminosity, luminosity here referring to uh, the clear light mind, or the mind having the nature of clear light. The uncompounded here does not mean that the mind is permanent. Uh, it means that the fundamental mind of clear light uh, is uncompounded in that it does, it, it does not arise adventitiously because this fundamental mind of clear light has no beginning and it will not come to an end. And as such, uh, it is referred to as uncompounded. Okay, then, um, so, so from the point of uh, uh, practice, yeah, uh, in particular, if, uh, if we uh, uh, approach it from the tantric perspective, yeah, 
So there are techniques to manifest this extremely subtle mind and then uh, and cause it to, to realize emptiness. Uh, and so the techniques to transform this mind uh, into an antidote, you know, uh, to uh, the uh, knowledge of obscurations. So this is the power, this is the point of the power of uh, secret mantra or, or tantra, isn't it? So uh, in such a practice, uh, through the power of meditation, the coarser levels of consciousnesses are caused uh, to dissolve. Uh, uh, after which, then the mind, the extremely subtle mind or clear light, uh, is made to manifest. And then one uh, then uses that uh, clear light mind to uh, meditate on uh, emptiness. And uh, if, if the meditator succeeds in doing that, that practice alone uh, uh, takes care of the accumulation of merit and it takes care of the, uh, the purification of the uh, obscurations. So earlier on, uh, uh, I gave you, a, 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 I told you that uh, according to Jason Chugi Jansen, uh, he made a terminological division of uh, the intermediate. You know, uh, you know the word for intermediate in Tibetan is pado. So there are six types of pados, right? Uh, of which uh, the 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 one that we have been discussing earlier on, that is the intermediate state, isn't it? The intermediate state, you know, the the interval between uh, death and rebirth. But uh, the word pado is also used uh, in. Uh, uh, other uh, in some other uh, context, isn't it? And in those contexts, it does not refer to this interval, uh, this state of existence that uh, comes in between death and rebirth. Yeah, but nevertheless, the word intermediate is used, like the the pado of the Dharma Datu and and so and so forth. So, uh, in fact, uh, Miller Ripper also talks about these uh, six types of pado. And uh, what I think, uh, and also the so Dao, we have to answer the question. So, why is the word pado used in uh, this uh, in, in, in this context? Yeah? For example, there's the pado of the Dharma Datu. If I if I didn't hear uh, it, uh, if, I, if if I heard correctly. Yeah? So anyway, the point here is this. Uh, you know, uh, in in the, in Hayashika Tantra practice, uh, you know, you can cause the coarser levels of consciousnesses to dissolve. Yeah before you manifest the extremely subtle mind. So basically there is the the, the mind moving from coarse to subtle and then from from subtle and then it becomes a coarse again. So in that sense there's this kind of an interval uh, between uh, uh, these uh, different uh, uh, levels of coarseness or subtlety of the mind. הדרושים אנחנו מורידים או מתארים דברים שמתארים שמאחרים את התודעה שאוחרים את התודעה וכולי ככה שבסופו של דבר אנחנו נוכל באמצעות תרגול המנטרה שלנו להפוך את התודעה להיות תודעה שהיא בסיסית תודעת האור הצלול שמבינה נכוחה את הריקות שתסייע לנו להכחיד לגמרי את מערפלי הידע זאת המטרה לעשות お、ティンゲタ、トニトベイシ。お、シリナンバーたちに日本語のロトウィアティ。ちゃんこジャパンのトーチゴードは、ジャパンのトーチ。ちゃんばだ人間ざわるじゅう、ちゃんじゅう生
ตีนชีดรมกิติงเนี่ยอันเนี่ยยามเลงทอลีอ่ะนองกว่าอ่ะตะติกิติตะแนงกะชิมบอโอนองเบชอบจิกทอมาเชกอซะโอเทียนลับ
milarebe harto thuki then mato pagi chungu amke khande khande yome harto thuki then to na phe khari yome o chitan ko sabje mong ko shida yore o yore te ta tingi ide maji lagindas o ta te chene ani harto thuki then mato be nimi de la khari yore sma thango kene harto to some gonsum gi sheje dodo machena and che tamje nyamlenki shimebe kol la tame nyaba yotos ta kene parto singindi kebe ringeleya tande ragolugu ata tave nyumesem otigi tigi lobjon tigi di cheni to some gonsum la cheje di majena kwa tache chetugu mares ho kol ya yangyo dimichit kwa kwa tache dinga kol tame nyaba yotos kene parto matobe so there is a uh, quote that I mentioned earlier on, right? Uh, a quote that is cited in Chisunba's uh, text uh, by Milleripo on the six uh, Pados. Yeah. So there's a lot, but uh, I, will not, uh, talk, I will not tell you everything. Yeah. But I just mentioned uh, some of the points. Yeah. So what are the faults of not knowing these six? Pados or the six intermediates or the six intervals, and what are the benefits of knowing them? So, out of the six pado, the first is like the interval of birth, okay, something like that. Okay, so if one does not, uh, if one does not eliminate uh, doubts with regards to this uh, birth interval through hearing, reflection, and meditation, one will not be able to be free uh, from uh, cyclic existence. So it is said. Okay. <laughs> זה אומר שבעצם מעגלי הקיום עבורנו לא יגיעו לסופם, הם לא יסתיימו עבורנו, כל עוד לא נגיע להבנה מוחלטת, ביטחון מוחלט לגבי התופעות בכללותן, לא נוכל להביא את הסמסרה לסופה. זה החיסרון, החיסרון שקשור, ב, החיסרון של אי הבנת הנושא או החיסרון שכרוך באי הבנת הברדו של מצב הקיום. Nimul Yamne, which is Samuel Yamne Medeva, what in the integrity, Tindainza, Yamne la Parcebe, Yeva Yebe, the Ninsen Kundu, and the Yamne Gidia Kandar Jartuati Tela, Pardu Nilum Pardu singing the Yamne, never to go rest, what is we are. So the Gabea Bado Ashin, the uh, second uh, Pado. Uh, is the dream pado or the dream interval. So if one uh, uh, if one uh, uh, doesn't know the dream pado, then uh, there's the fault of uh, one's practice uh, being interrupted. So what does this mean? So even though you may uh, you, you may be doing your practice uh, is pretty much okay uh, while you are awake, but uh, during the sleep. If you do not know the dream pado, you will not be able to engage in practice. So as such, then you will not be able to transform your entire uh, day into, into practice. And as such, your practice is interrupted. The dream pado, the second one. That 
if one is not able to uh, uh, distinguish or separate uh, the cause and the subtle mind, then you will not be able to use uh, uh, the subtle mind uh, for practice. Because if you are, you know, if you are able to practice you know, using the subtle mind, then the mind's practice becomes more powerful. Yeah, but of course, you are not able to uh, kind of separate, you know, uh, distinguish and separate uh, the cause and uh, mind and the subtle mind one is not able to then utilize the subtle mind for practice. Uh, uh, the fourth pado is uh, let's say you can translate as a reality pado or the such suchness pado. Uh, this uh, uh yeah, now we are talking about the extremely uh, subtle uh, mind so if we are not able to uh, recognize uh, this extremely subtle mind then uh, one is still then the three uh, uh, minds of appearance increase and uh, attainment will manifest and will follow after it from which then there is the perpetuation of uh, uh, existence here yeah. So these uh, three uh, minds, the minds of appearance, increase and uh, the attainment are also posited as the uh, secret maras. או במילה שירים שישתמש בזה, החזות הלבנה, החזות, החזות האדומה והחזות השחורה הם נאספו או התפוגגו. אם אנחנו נצליח לתרגל את הברדו החמישי הזה, אז נקבל ביטחון עצום לגבי, לגבי הקיום ולגבי השלווה. Tatinato <laughs> Dochon <laughs> 
so then uh, then there's the uh, the pado of uh, um, the pado of uh, becoming or the pado of becoming yeah so without knowing this there's no way uh, to achieve uh, liberation right so uh, if we do not recognize uh, the pado of becoming and the pado of the intermediate state as the intermediate state then one will not be able to engage in uh, practice yeah so there are practices that have been done from the sutra side, they can be practices that have been done uh, from the higher sukha tantra side. So in higher sukha tantra, we talk about the, the nine uh, mixings, isn't it? So in short, right, uh, these are the faults of uh, not knowing uh, the six uh, pado, yeah? the six types of pado. ובינצם <laughs> Je vois que Chigigoba, Toro, Toro, Neva Yores, that Chubachi, Yamlingo, Goba Torni, Tanjurge, Angamatu was savvy, sort of what in the Chigi, Susu, Mitsidil, Yamle, Cheshavati, Kiva Chimala Tata, Titotu, Yonda Mayo Sengedi, Padova, the Ninsan Jasati, Manovati, Gobuya Venza, or Tigi, Chigoba Tori, Neva Ingres, or Tisungu Yore, Shivati Tire. So there was a question, I remember from the Hebrew uh, interpreter about the fourth pado, the pado of uh, death or the pado of dying. So um, she said the, uh, if uh, one does not know the pado of dying or the pado of death, which is a very important uh, phase in our life. Yeah. So if we get that wrong, so uh, even if we have done some practice in this life, then uh, if we get that wrong, then we may not be able to continue our practice in the next life. Yeah. So it's important not to get basically not not to i mean in colloquial language i guess not to make not to screw up at the time of death because uh, if we, otherwise we will not be able to uh you know get uh, for example a successive uh, 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 human lives or freedoms and endowments which we need to be able to continue our practice isn't it so if one does not know the pado of death or the pado of dying then uh, one will not be able to acquire uh, for example, a special kind of rebirth uh, to be able to continue our practice, a special kind of uh, physical support that is necessary for the practice of Tantra, uh, for example, uh, and so forth. Yeah. So, yeah. So maybe just to repeat uh, the, the six kinds of the six pados or the six intervals. But so it's better maybe to stick to the word pado because it doesn't really make much sense you know, to translate it into English all the time. So there's the pado of uh, uh, life, which is the which is the usual, you know, intermediate state that we uh, that we talk about and that we have been talking about uh, since yesterday, right? Then and as for the remaining five pados, this is what we say just uh, briefly uh, mentioned uh, over the last 10-15 minutes. Yeah. So there's a second the pado of dream, 
then there's the pado of meditative stabilization or the pado of concentration. Then you have the pado of dying. Then you have the pado of the reality or the pado of the dhammadatta. And then now, then the last one was the pado of uh, becoming. Yeah. Lugi <laughs> Or <laughs> Maju Kate Chise Gangalo, Gavala Doya. And Semkin Namdo Karisha of Gangaya, Gavala Doya. Lugi or Magi Jobata, Yigi Samba, Tuzo Samalo, Bezo Chukchabul of Tumugoa. On it, that Bemen Hunuk to do, and Lame Zojang Julia Dotuya, Lugi or Magi Jobata, Yigi Samba Kungi, Bemeva, Lapsen Toyonsu, Zocheva. Sonam Toya, Tenet Zogre, Ishig Toya, Tenet Zogres, or that tick, Tagi, Sundayagi, or Kisi Parto, or Chingi Parto, or Chiwa Parto, or Sipa Parto, or that Tizu Teddy, that Milan Parto, or Tizu Yamleti Chevaina, that Sunday Cup, Padu Cup, Gave Cup, Yonzo Lotte, and so Yonzo Doyagi. Tolia, do resin, Kuning, Jenna, De Chosuchi, Imbadasangi. So, in the uh, uh, prayer of the path of uh, uh, Guya Samaja, uh, there is a verse uh, that uh, says, uh, which thoroughly gathers the collection of great ways of deeds effortlessly with all the movements of body expressions of speech and the thoughts of mind that have abandoned the appearance of and the, the conception adhering to ordinariness may whatever appears dawn as the circle of uh, the ATC. so in the in the practice of high Sugar tantra there are techniques you know, to overcome ordinary appearance and adherence to ordinariness and and in particular if uh, if the meditator uh, uh, stops you not know, aims uh, to stop uh, the coarser levels of consciousness, including the minds of what appearance, we increase in black attainment. And if he succeeds in doing that, and uh, on the basis of which then he's able to manifest the extremely subtle mind of clear light, and then uh, uses that to realize emptiness and, and, and makes that extremely subtle mind of clear light inseparable from emptiness, then for that individual, then naturally all express all uh, all physical movements, all expressions of speech and all thoughts of mind, all uh, automatically become uh, 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 a way to accumulate you know, great waves of uh, the collection of merit, you know, effortlessly. Yeah. Uh, so and I think uh, uh, there's a way to connect uh, uh, such techniques that are mentioned in this verse from the Guru Samaja prayer to. Uh, the pados uh, that we have been, uh, they have just uh, uh, talked about, right? You know, out of the six pados, uh, you know, there's the pado of uh, life, which refers to the intermediate state, the, the, uh, the interval between uh, death and birth. Then there's the pado of dream, then the pado of meditative absorption, or meditative stabilization. Then there's the pado of dying, the pado of dhammadatta, and the pado of becoming. So I think there's a way to. Uh, link or this year. <laughs> 
כל מה שנדבר עליו יהיה גם חסד, דברים חיוביים. כל מה שנחשוב עליו גם יהפוך להיות בלי, בלי מאמץ, בצורה ספונטנית, בצורה טבעית, כל מה שנחשוב עליו גם יהפוך להיות חיובי. וזה בעצם יוביל אותנו ל... על ההערה הגדולה העילאית או הגבוהה, ב... הגבוהה ביותר. באמצעות זה גם נשלים במהרה את שני המצבורים, מצבור פוטנציאל הזכות ומצבור ההכרה הנשגבת. ולכן, מאחר וכאן אנחנו עוסקים בששת סוגי הברדו, אז אנחנו רוצים להביא את ששת סוגי הברדו אל תוך התרגול האישי שלנו, ככה שאם נוכל לעשות את זה, נוכל להשלים את שני המצבור... המצבורים שדרושים להגשמה של ההערה השלמה המוחלטת או הגבוהה ביותר. אז זה מה שרימבות שבחר. אז אני מעביר את השרביט אליך, תומר. Yes, we'll now have the Q&A session. Uh, the question will be read by the uh, language assistants. Please be aware that as there are many questions and limited time, perhaps or probably maybe uh, not all questions will be answered. Uh, we will start with the, the question from the Russian speaking audience. So Misha, if you can please uh, unmute and read the first question. Yes, uh, good afternoon, dear Sherry. Good afternoon, everyone. We are very happy to see you in good mood and in good health. Uh, and I'm very sorry for my pure English. We have two short questions. First question is, when we have our most subtle body and mind manifested, I mean clear light mind, during dying period and before birth state, do we have any wrong grasping mind at this time, like in born or in name, ignorance? And if yes, how it functions? And the second uh, question may be quite short. Is it possible to practice in Bardo state and what we should do and can do in Bardo to achieve a good rebirth? Thanks a lot. I think that all the country is not here. 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 Wesel ngundu juwa ina, andi pardo maju kon la chiu wesel di ngai angka di nishugi. Ta chiu wesel ngundu juwa ina arwa la, chiu wesel ngundu ju di lokshe ngowo kune ngundu juge rebe lokshe di marik pa chamo marin pa lenke lenke ngow Gyoa Jogirves di ngon kande china. Di kande tambo dire. Kande niba di karresena kesi bado la lewa ina. Nganso bado la niam nien che tugirves. Nganso kewa chima la kewa yawo lengi che du bado nanon la bado nanon la niam nien che tugirves niam nien kande chi che na kande niba dire. Ta chisi di lungma te yis ก็บอกงบบัตรเจตังงบบัตรคนดูแต่ตัวนี้ชิสิลุงมาเตงภาษาอังกฤษอะไรอ๋อแต่ทันเดียที่อินดูชิสิปัตย์อันนี้จีง
tende yo chore ti indu ngar sobe ne kabla ya ani chi chamba gomya ninje gomya chanju sem gomya tungni gomya tinde chi ki lo khomba shuk chambo ji yebe ina bar sibe ne kab tela ya chamba de ninje da chanju sem da tomba ni singe di tende le yo ha chire tinde indu ti top ji ani chi kene sambola ya thezo me ba ani jutu ya chi o tinde chi yo res ni ta lab shan di sare Okay, so I don't know if you have a question. Both uh, the lower and higher Abhidhamas assert that the mind, of, the mind at the time of death is neutral uh, in, uh, in terms of its nature or entity. And, uh, and on top of that, uh, uh, from the perspective of high school tantra, uh, it is possible to transform the mind at the time of death or the extremely subtle mind of clear light uh, into uh, a virtuous uh, entity. Why? Because uh, one can, uh, 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 it is possible to use that extremely subtle mind of clear light to realize uh, emptiness, isn't it? Uh, then, uh, uh, while in that uh, extremely, uh, in the state of uh, extremely subtle mind of clear light, Whenever there's a whenever there's a slight movement, uh, when a slight movement of the wind uh, happens, then the intermediate state uh, comes into being. One moves into the intermediate state, isn't it? And is it possible to uh, to engage in virtue in the intermediate state? Yes, it is possible because uh, uh, depending on uh, your familiarity with uh, virtue or with practice while you are alive. So when one was alive, uh, if uh, you are accustomed to practices such as uh, love, compassion, bodhicitta, uh, or meditating on emptiness, it is possible and then because of the power of uh, the familiarity of uh, with those practices, it is possible to be reminded of those practices while you are in the intermediate state. It is possible. כשהרוח <laughs> של הבנה של עריקות. אם אנחנו נפתח הרגלים מעמיקים, אז ההרגלים האלה סביר להניח שנוכל גם להביא אותם אל מצב הברדו, אם יוכלו, נוכל להשתמש בהם במצב הברדו, ככה שאם נתרגל אותם אהבה וחמלה, בודיצ'יטה, את עריקות, במצב הברדו, אז גם זה ישפיע גם על הלידה הבאה, על החיים הבאים, על קיום, ה... על קיום הלידה. Okay, thank you. We can read now the next question. Uh, the next question uh, will be from the Chinese speaking audience. And for this question, I'd like to ask Venable Carlson to read the question uh, first in Tibetan, and then the interpreters will translate, and then Rinpoche will answer. Thank you. And the Rinpoche continue the Gyami Taiwan, Taiwan Lebarawala. Dila Tio Kandri Kandresena Tsetse Dawa Kashe Mato Mebe Mena Namba Sangyebe Sangyebe Kansa La Rimbochella Mixen Nyamlen Tobden Chi Lopchi Nanro Nanro Shu Shelai Im Rimboche Yaholam Litzal Tirgulo Tsmative Effectivia Vurelish and Isharula and Rakam Kama Hodashim Tichyot. Can Rimboche recommend? Um, a powerful practice, an effective practice for those who have only a few months to live. Mm -hmm. 
Then Pumbu Tutan, that ticket and Kiji Kiji Jibun Nazu Mitaba. At the letter Yomong Shamajin Gibunga or Tindeji Tone and Tindeji Koalia Yane and Gumichi to Koyati, Doya Tabla, Da Mebetan, Da Mebetan Yebetogi, and Shivatawa or Tindeji Jotuya or Tindeji the Gauma Jodi Jotato, Cousin Tindres Shuiba or Tina Shinjigi. Koala, Nimbo Mavatune, Ni Jungulo Yanya, some Taya, Kane, Sigmon Pejotan to Mavinaya, Koa singing the Rangshin the Kanejimba, or Titolia, Nizuya, some Taya. Tati, Rangin Jiwolia, some of Madame Macheni, Randa Nyamba, Semja Tamje, Devan Deva, the Dungam in Devo Gokun, Sunda Nansu Chila, and Tedagi, Deve Pong Deva, Dungi Nadeve. Nizuti to cover and shin to not the two disambetone, Ninjeta, Chambago betone, Tito Lia Troya Tondal, Tanga Monetane, Mizzi Dichibo Mimba, Kiawa Dune, Lamez of Sanji Yukomatoyaki, Yamenti Chebu do, Tinichi Yoma Shosabe, Chanju Sengi, Yamne Yansoya. Any G. Mizutunduji Mato Medevig, Tindegi Nizuti Tola. Soon Sena Carre, Chisena Carre, or T. Tatan Sena, Soon the Chi, near Yorbe, or Tindesen, Tomani Gitavetana, Tana Bea, Mona Tanetana, Chisati, Shanaki at Gretti, Tonda Dinne Chevina, Lubu Nimba T. Pato, Lubu Savachi Leadi, T. Paratella, Chishi Tanji Tavare, Kanda, Kamba Nimba Tisha, Kamba Savachi Dragi, Ketachi Red, or Chiva Sheva, the Nando Tazan Chire. Or you may be sick, Semti, said Dine, you meet the door, Matoti, Coca and Rake Yomare, the Pungo Rabal winning Bati, Sherry Dujig Pungo, Nenas and Nadevati, Masha, and Pungo Savatilla, or Tindichi, Tinde in the Chivasa, Namdo Tesne, or Dustene, Chivio Cortelia, and Tatun Sane, Ramon to Chivasinji, near Yotame called Tayo Cortel and Begina. Motel, Ninja Shirai Giri Samudu, Kandar, Ninjunda, Chanju Senda, Yanta Betawa, Tisumbuti, Reme, Reme Cheje, Desa, Nesena, Duce, Nede, Yavaina, Samu Tinde, Stan Deva Yavaina, or that T Nube Shu Tigi, or Monetane, said Tinjuti, Dawachini, Jimado Meva Koyan, Tenda Deva Yoya, or Chiwa Kabla Yinaya, Monetane, Jinta. Chivati, turned on them by Yoya. Or the Partotia, Partot turned on them by Chita, Kiawat turned on them by Chit to Yachila, Nangacham Shuyoris, that tea totella, and then Kusun Sobiana, and the town, and Sunday Road, the sick cane, and Cardun to women, then to the Kusun Sobiana, then to the Mabe in some new toller, so the Chamba Temple Kaza Yuba, the tissue there, catch him with Rasni, my shay. So, if you have, uh, if you, uh, if you were present uh, in uh, during the session yesterday, uh, 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 we talked about the sutra, Nanda's sutra of entering the womb, uh, isn't it? Where there was a description on how how uh, uh, we enter the intermediate state, what happens during the intermediate state, and how and after birth, how the body. Uh, uh, the embryo develops and so forth, you know. So, but if you think about it, as I mentioned yesterday, what is the essence uh, or the, the point behind uh, those uh, this, the, those descriptions in that sutra? The point is that uh, our existence in cyclic exist our ex our existence in samsara, you know? our existence is uh, is uh, impermanent by nature. It is changing momentarily. And it is in the nature of suffering because it is a product of our karma and uh, 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 afflictions, isn't it? And the only way uh, to free ourselves from uh, such a uh, conditioned existence is to realize uh, selflessness. If we realize selflessness, we can then achieve uh, uh, the peace of uh, uh, liberation. So this is, I think, the main point. Uh, 
you know, of that uh, sutra, isn't it? So even if we, if we, even if we have only a couple of months to live, so if we understand, uh, even though we may not be able to articulate you know, all of uh, these points you know, uh, using uh, many different words or terminology, but the point here is to realize that uh, uh, a conditioned existence, a life in cyclic existence, has no essence, has no meaning. So think, uh, think about uh, renunciation. Think about uh, how that is the nature of uh, samsaric life. Then we will develop some kind of disenchantment or renunciation of cyclic existence, isn't it? And on top of that, you know, uh, then we can also turn our attention uh, to other other sentient beings, isn't it? So all, all sentient beings in samsara are in the same state as us. They are also uh, suffering. So all of us, we want happiness. We don't want uh, suffering. But then all of us are suffering and all of us are, 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 are lack of uh, happiness, isn't it? So if we think about how uh, uh, others are in the same situation as us, then we can use, uh, you know, we can uh, use the, this understanding to uh, cultivate uh, love, uh, compassion, isn't it? And then, on the basis of which, then we can uh, develop uh, 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 the thought of bodhicitta, the mind of the mind, and we can think. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm practicing. I must practice, you know, in, not just in this life, in all my future lives, practice uh, to achieve uh, Buddhahood. Uh, to become a Buddha, uh, to be of benefit uh, to others as well, isn't it? And then on top of that, uh, we can also think about uh, what exactly is this life, being alive or or, or, or death, you know? What exactly is it? So, you know, death might seem uh, very scary, very fearful. But if you if you search, you know, look for, is, is there something that we can point to that is the real death? So as we say in technical language, the imputed object when searched uh, cannot uh, be found, isn't it, right? So if you look for it, you know, point, where, where is this real death? Where is it? What is it, you know? So although uh, uh, at a glance, you no, know, we think about that, it, it might look very, it's kind of it's quite a scary thing, isn't it, to think of. Uh, but uh, you can also think of death as just a process of uh, changing uh, our old body for a new uh, a better body isn't it right so there's no there's no need to worry about going out of existence although we we have to leave behind this uh, body of blood and flesh uh, but nevertheless uh, uh, the, uh, since our mind uh, does not cease and will not cease so there's you no know, you don't have to you don't, you don't have to kind of be worried about that. We will not go out of existence. We, we, are, we are just switching uh, our old body for a new one, isn't it? So in short, you know, uh, even if, though we may have a, uh, just a few months to live, we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, meditate on our impending death, you know, uh, and use the experience, you know, uh, use the, that time, you know, to think about the, the, these three principal aspects of the path, renunciation, bodhicitta, and uh, the correct view of uh, emptiness, isn't it? Even though if we may be uh, lying down, you know, um, not being able to move, but, you know, uh, we still can make uh, our remaining time on uh, in this life meaningful by, by you know, thinking about uh, these uh, three uh, things you know? and if we are able to do so then we will be able to make our remaining time meaningful we will be able to make our uh, impending death meaningful and and, and, and so uh, we may be able to, we be able to then transform uh, our experience in the intermediate state uh, into something uh, into something that is meaningful and that will also then make our future lives uh, uh, meaningful isn't it so on top of that and then if we, on top of that, if we are able to uh, recite uh, some uh, prayers or supplication or some mantras, that will be that will be perfect, isn't it? But if not, you know, if not, the, if, uh, as long as we are conscious, as long as we are able to think, then we sh still we are able to then uh, as long as we are able to think, basically then, then just think about these things, yeah, renunciation, bodhicitta, and emptiness. Uh, 
אנחנו רוצים לא רק להסתפק בענפים של, ה... ענפים של, ה... של השלמות או של המצ... ש... שמביאים את התרגול למצב שלם, אנחנו רוצים להשתמש בהם, אבל לוודא שאנחנו גם חושבים על ההיבטים האלה, שלושת ההיבטים הגדולים של הדרך, וזה הופך את... וכל הדבר הזה הופך להיות חשוב במעלה. אסור. תומר? Yes. Uh, the next question uh, will come from the English speaking audience and I would like to ask uh, May, please unmute and read the next question, please. Hello, Rupeche. Um, in order to change the intermediate state while in the intermediate state, craving and grasping are needed to activate another karmic seed. If so, does it mean that prayers and pujas done for the disease will affect the craving and grasping in the in the intermediate state? If yes, how so? Also, when the intermediate state has been changed, what happened to the previous karma that caused the current intermediate state? Would that previous karmic seed be activated again in the future? Thank you. I want to tell you that I am an engineer. I am a member of the Badola Gyoa Yorest in the Sundua. I am a Gyoa Yorest che si bado capsula gioa tevaina ni gioa di sebata lemba kengi gioa dogeroas ni cesan kuran kanji tambo di sebata lemba kengi gioa dogero yotane ni che si sebata lemba kengi gioa gioa dogero oina nganso um um Also, mission but she do melon chevaina, shabdun chevaina, and he conso seba talem talemba tender di gyoa jone, I'm not tobgi kengi, um, conso sabun, penjegi, penjegi legi, sabun, segi reves, chiva tambo dire. And he chiva tambo di, chiva niba di karre sena kesi dagara anche si. Sebata lemba penjegi legi sabun di sewaina. Ani ta ngato mashiko na ani sebata lemba legi sabun sebarwa la penjegi le sabun sebarwa. Ani sabun di la kare sabun di kawa jogere di sabun di nuba jogere ve sabun shemba di badu kapsula sewaina Nyewa penje gi le di namengi mpumbu maduna ya namengi mpumbu di jemala yankia di sabun di yankia penge rewe, sabun di nuba zogi rewe. Kande inas? Tati, ngarang sabzu ti shugi na nye di taga di re yu re me lagu me. Ngarang sabzu le kare re sina. Gawa tu cuma ngomba kuma gelu, ngomba kundu gelu. Tundu gawa penjeg leji, tak seneng saya tamne. Kau tundu persiji, trup sar cje. Kau tundu persiji, trup dewa. Ye be katu utela. Ane koran gi, di rando gi, gawa tu penjeg kiri yonai re. Yang koran gi nye nye tu tu tu, ane gawa tu penjeg tu la tene. Ane kau persiji, doje, yurje. Ane mi persi. Tendu persi, ikhya wala ya, lehaan chi yobha chi sunggu yore. Ta wana ti kandre se, re se na, o, tundu persi ki, lui tene jabu jabne, ta tundu ti nami ki pungu cha zang, ta zow bare be se na, zow yo ma re se, o, ko, ya maung ma, maung ba chili ya, ane, yang yos, tundu ki, seneng se tam ne, tundu persi, Gune, tundu kewa, lanch ho rhe se. Ta tanda gyawa tob chen, rando om, shendo gyawa tob chen ki, shuk chik la tene, shuk chik la tene, ko tundu parsi patu le de yu na ya, tundu parsi patu le de yu ba yu na ya, shuk chik la tene, pardo wa te karche na chik wa rwa se, pardo wa te, shabu dundu le chik yu are, rinta ya shabu dundu le chik yu are, kabre ni chudu jingi le chik wa yu mure, ko ti kabre, pardo chik wa te la, kandar, selen, sibasum, ko chitumba chik, tende yu are se, tende yu na zang, Ane dendu selen sebab sum mikir apa penjeg lagi penjeg lagi pang berdebat eh 
so what I'm, what I'm going to say now is my opinion. I cannot say whether uh, my answer is uh, correct or not. So according, uh, of course, yes, according to uh, Sangha's uh, companion of knowledge, which is the higher Abhidharma, uh, it is said that the intermediate uh, state can be changed. So for example, uh, 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 due to uh, craving and grasping, uh, uh, a karmic seed for, that will project a rebirth uh, as an animal uh, is activated, and then one uh, then uh, uh, enters into the uh, intermediate state of an animal. Uh, but then let's say uh, during that time, uh, either due to uh, one's own, uh, from one's own side, one engages in uh, one very powerful virtue, or uh, one's uh, friends or relatives and those who, that one has connection with engages in in, merit, in virtue. It is said that uh, that intermediate state can be changed, so that intermediate state of an animal can be changed into the intermediate state of a human. So. So even though the intermediate state has changed from uh, that of a hum uh, animal to a human, it doesn't mean that uh, the the karmic seed that gave rise to the intermediate state of an animal has uh, exhausted or has completed. It has not been exhausted yet. So it is possible for that seed in the future to be activated by craving and grasping, and then. Uh, uh, from which then one uh, then uh, takes uh, rebirth as an animal. So that, I think that's possible. So anyway, uh, anyway, in order for the intermediate state uh, to change, uh, the intermediate state being has to die. So let's say within a maximum of seven days, if rebirth doesn't happen, the intermediate state being has to die, isn't it? So, uh, so when the intermediate state being dies, and let's say, uh, he he's, uh, he was in the intermediate state of an animal, and let's say due to craving and grasping, and uh, potential existence, uh, he uh, achieves an intermediate state of a human being. So the achievement of the intermediate state of a human being is due to the activation of a karma that was previously accumulated. It's not that uh, uh, that karma. Uh, is uh, freshly accumulated while in the intermediate state. So it's just due to an activation of a previously accumulated uh, uh, karma. Yeah? Uh, due to the activation of that karma by craving and grasping and potential existence during in the intermediate state, then the intermediate state being dies and then achieves a new intermediate state. שבוע, ולכן השינוי הזה התרחש מברדו של, של חיה ללידה של בן אדם. אז בעצם התהליך הזה הוא תלוי גם בזרעים קרמטיים, בפעולות קרמטיות שהבן אדם הזה עשה בעצמו בעבר, שפעולות משליכות שמשליכות ללידה של בן אדם. כמובן שאנחנו נמצאים במעגלי הקיום אין זמן ללא ראשית ועד עכשיו, אז כבר ביצענו כל כך הרבה פעולות בעבר, אז יש לנו גם זרעים שצברנו בעבר, זרעים, זרעים על רצף התודעה שלנו, של לידות בתור בני אדם, אז אחד <coughs> מהם יופעל במצב הברדו, בסצנריו הספציפי הזה שדיברנו עליו, והוא יוביל או, יוביל, או ישנה את מצב הברדו, מברדו של חיה ללידה של בן אדם. <coughs> 
to do this sumgi of your search do or and then Israel Dama Prandigi to Kodigo all yeah and that Nimini and Diniji Tadina and Tirin Tilia cannot do Kodi Chaj of Parts and Dorchen Ki Nato Tolia Ditu Che Lumba Nato Tol Ditu Che and cannot so Chiki Nato Tolia the Nesha Shabati Ki Nato Tol Yunanya Rotawaya to do Jidua or cannot do Samalia to the chess and then and then the Kudinanye, the Jabi cannot do some of the two chairs and the Shidres or the Chen. So I think our time is up. So, uh, you know, these teachings uh, uh, are made possible uh, due to uh, the efforts of uh, the organizers, uh, the Dharma Prince of uh, Israel. So I would like to extend my appreciation uh, to the organizers and also to uh, the interpreters uh, who have made it possible for the teachings to be interpreted into uh, you know, Hebrew, English, Chinese and Russian. Yeah? <laughs> uh, let us conclude with the dedication, uh, Venerable Carlson. Yes. Sorry, I will share it on the screen. Yeah. In the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chinvrezik tends in Gyatso. Please remain until samsara ends. May the Buddha Dhamma flourish and its upholders have long lives. May all yep. sentient beings arise into happiness and their temporal and ultimate goals be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. For the merits of these virtuous okay. actions may quickly attend the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the precious body mind not yet born arise and grow. May that bond have no decline but increase forevermore. Chana. Okay, we come to the end of the Bhagavad teaching. We'd like to express the deepest gratitude to you, Jadu Rinpoche, for enlightening us with this rare and so important Bardo teaching. Thank you very much, Rinpoche. Yeah, you're welcome. Tukjiche. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, we, yeah. we hope to have another opportunity to receive uh, another teaching from uh, Jadu Rinpoche soon. Yeah. And of course, hopefully we can see you soon in Israel. Many thanks to our interpreters, Venerable Carlson, Venerable Giorme, Chen Chen Mungush, and Lunduk Donden. Uh, you made it possible for so many participants to listen to the teaching in their own language. So thank you very much for your kindness and all your efforts. Um, just to, as a final reminder, if you wish to practice generosity, you are most welcome to do it through the post in the chat or through the event page, Dharma Friends in the Dharma Friends website. And finally, thank everyone of the participants. Thank you for joining us. We hope you have benefited from this wonderful Bardo teaching indeed. May we all meet again in more Dharma teachings in the future. Thank you all. <laughs>